autism and anxiety. It is an Welcome back. I totally forgot I was at this part. Same here. I actually kind of remember us like saying we were going to finish this off screen. Yeah. <laughs> it just hit me. Double shit. Fuck. Double shit. And you're dead. Gonna go ahead and assume. Yeah, this thing kills you pretty quick. And you're dead. I totally forgot about the bomb. Oh. That was her. No bomb. Yep, there she is. Okay. And you're alive. But now you're dead. Hi there. She's like, I wanna hug. She, she's just, I wanna hug. Hey, boo. I wanna hug. I wanna Don't hug. run out of stamina, please. I wanna hug. I wanna hug. Ranges. Oh. <laughs> now this part. Broken leg. Brain dead, broken leg. Oh, oh shit. Just shotgun the switches. Much easier, I'd say. Yeah. Why did we not think of that before? Uh, Hello there. Oh. Damn it! And you're dead. You are face fucked. It was like I ran, I got hit by the flame, and I was like, okay, well, I'll take a little bit of fire over insta death. Yep. Turns out you're taking both. Yep. Can you just, like, call it for a minute? Come back like mid episode of this with this finish, because I see us sitting through this ages. No, I got this. All right, I got this. Fast forward. I got this. He, he, he according to Austin, he apparently has this audience. Will he succeed? I got this. Stay tuned for the last time. <laughs> Dragon Ball autism and anxiety. God shit. Last time on Dragon Ball Autism and Anxiety, Austin said, I got this. Now back to the episode currently running. Alright, okay, one more try and then yes, we'll fast forward. We'll we'll teleport to the finish. We will stand triumphantly over her body. Which will probably not be there, because, like, everything fucking disappears in this game. Hi. He got this. Remember, audience, he has this. Third time's the charm, as they say. Taking no consideration that you haven't played this in, like, two weeks, something like that. It has been a while. <laughs> Ow, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, he's got this. Not dead, though. He got this. He has, in fact, this. This is something that he, he actually has. This cat is biting my hand. She approves. She, she knows you have this. Ow, fuck. Jesus Christ, cat. Come here. Bite me. Barr, barr, barr. <laughs> she just starts whimpering like a dog. What even is that thing? It's like... How would you ask this question before? And I never got an answer. It's just a fucking demon witch bullshit thing. I'm asking her specifically, but she will not tell me. Yeah, of course. All she can say is... And you're dead. There's a fucking bomb. Oh my god. Don't worry. You've got this. Dude, I fucking did. <laughs> but the fucking bomb. Oh my f fuck. We will have this. We'll see y'all in a bit. All right, fast forward. <laughs> Welcome section, back. This I section was not as long as I thought it was. No, I could I could have sworn it wasn't. Anyways, welcome back. We made it. Took like Actually, yeah, this is the only try. I didn't die once. Yeah, like it was really fucking quick too. Yeah, there was no point in fast forwarding. Yeah, I just like from remembering last time, it was like, holy shit, this was taking ages. <laughs> I can't get past this fucking cat. Quit it. Bite my arm and shit. Being a pest. 
I gotta get back to my position. Man, she's all mad. Oh. I bumped her in the head. It's a mortal douchebag. Who do you think I am? Did you just call us Seb? Mm hmm. His name's Sebastian. What you, uh, what you fear? I know what you crave. You crave skin like mine. It's all the latest trend. Being burned and shit. Joseph couldn't. Stitched up. Blood on the floor. No shoes. It's kind of disgusting, actually. Feels like I'm standing in a pile of goop. I literally fucking hate this. That's dirty. That is dirty, sir. That is dirty, and I do not appreciate your advances. Like, he just starts talking shit to him. That's what I... Like, I mean, what else would you fucking do in this situation? Uh. Now you can use her hands. Can you imagine using those claws as, like, your main <laughs> weapon? Yeah, it'd make things a hell of a lot easier. And it did one shots you. I only imagine what it does to them fucking zombies. That can apparent that can also take harpoons to the face and be perfectly fucking fine. Ooh. So. Mm. Well, this is a fun elevator ride. But I think I'm ready to get off. More ways than one. Fifth floor, latex, spandex. Trial and error. All boarding. Shit. Back here again. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Fucking Spencer Mansion. This is when this game again. gets a sin for backtracking. Bing! Well, it's different, because remember this room was the save room. Oh lordy, they locked a couple doors and it's different. Well, no, because remember we tried to go down this way, but then it, like, extended, and, and then we fell through fucking, like, hell. So we never actually entered this way. Ooh. Or, no, I think we entered this way, but it was that that extended, that we Ooh. couldn't go through. Uh, I can't read this letter. It's blood. It's not even a letter. It's just a pile of blood. Yeah. Would it be a pile or a puddle? We can make it this time. I think it would be a puddle. It's a puddle of blood. How many buckets of blood? Hey. It's, uh, shit. It's the guy with the chick name. And then the doc. What Leslie. The Leslie, think? yeah. Yeah, he has a chick name. I remember. Really? Did you quit chewing on my hand? Yeah. Well, pimp slap a cat. Neither do I. <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> it seems we have reached a James Bond standoff. Well, Mr. Bond, it seems you've arrived too late. Now time to strap you to this death machine with a laser and a buzzsaw. And a child. Wunderbar. Yeah, the doctors realize what's going on. We're in the, o in the other spooky world. Yeah. We're and apparently Leslie's been here before and made it out. Huh. So he's trying to... Yeah, use the kid to get out. We've got to rearrange our brain wave links to accept the real world. Ooh, <laughs> it looks all spooky and shit in here. I miss Outlast. Just seeing like people strapped up to like high tech shit like this is reminding me of that ending. He's also dressed up like a crazy patient, so that's also a, an outlast thing. Crazy people. Poor kid. Why do I suck at my job? Why didn't it work? Huh, maybe, I don't know, because we're in uh, Rubik's World. And that thing? And that thing. That thing is also here. Now that looks like a Shadow Hearts enemy, and that is fucking badass. <laughs> that's it. That's why. Oh, that thing is doing it. I know now. You're, you're, uh... That is one of the nastiest looking things in enemies to me. When their flesh is, like, attached over their mouth and shit. Oh, Dr. Oh, dead. hate that. Hate it so much. We just passed through a chain link yeah. thing. So. When the fuck could we have had this power so many times beforehand? It had been so damn useful. Just at, at a... Just soon you quit asking, quit asking questions. I will never quit asking questions. This ain't Metal Gear. 
I know that reference. <laughs> I fucking love him, Daisy. After a while, you just quit asking questions. And then she became a furry and does nothing but write about an orange. Huh? Yeah, she does nothing but write furry. Oh, him. She writes fur like furry comics now. I, I know. She does not do I'm Daisy. She never even bothered to finish Pasana. Started working on three and threw it out the window. Made me sad. She's also gonna work on Metal Gear Solid 4. Well, that one they didn't. Yes. Have, they didn't have the time or anything. No, no. In the you know, so they actually had like a thing, uh, you know, to pay, like you know, help them get it. And if you got enough, if they got enough, then they would have done it. But yeah. they didn't. And then a lot of people have said, like, like the only reason they haven't gotten another artist to do it is because Haim Daisy asked them not to. To be an asshole, actually. Like, there was no reason other than she was like, fuck you, don't continue this. Like, that was it. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but I have not heard anything other than it was just like, because she didn't want them to. What the fuck are you two doing? She's like trying to get your little uh, mask up there or whatever. It's like, I'm just an innocent little kitty cat. <laughs> They've gone insane. Oh, they this like to climb in the closet. I know that one. This is what happens when you fix cats. They go crazy. Oh, they did this before they got fixed. Yeah. You have an order of blood about you. Of course I fucking do. Seeing the shit I've been dealing with. You smell like dead people. <laughs> just make it as obvious as hell. Marcello. Hey, that's that guy that just died. Mm-hmm. Man, that was fast. <laughs> like, it's just... It was like, holy shit, these missing papers are, like, spot on. If they're this quick, how the hell are they not finding these people? I don't think I have a key. No, I don't have a key. I don't have a key. I don't have a key. I'm gonna pick these locks. I don't have a lock pick. I'm gonna sit here and cry. <laughs> I'm now sad. And thing that looks incredibly painful. I'm gonna inject these needles into my brain and forget about my sadness of not having keys and lockpicks. Metal Gear. I'm a detective. Shut up, I'm a Navy SEAL. <laughs> okay. Isn't that what he said? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's actually been a while. Yeah, I haven't watched that shit in ages. It is funny. Oh yeah, for anyone who hasn't watched that, totally watch it. Go watch the Let's Destroy Metal Gear series. It's great. Especially if you're into parodies. And Metal Gear. And Metal Gear. Colonel. Colonel, I can't remember your name. Where am I? I actually cannot remember his name. It's kind of pissing me off. Colonel Campbell. That's it. Colonel Campbell. Yeah, I usually think of the soup. Colonel, do you have a bowl of chicken noodle for me? <laughs> yeah, they got all the way to three. Metal Gear. God, I do and not. And Peace Walker. I do not envy David Hayter. That voice fucking hurts like hell. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, no, they didn't do Peace Walker. They did, uh... Metal Gear. They did, uh... Was it Portal Ball Ops? Yeah, Portal Ball Ops. They did the one that's apparently not canon, but still yeah. a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Never played it myself, but I have heard it's entertaining. Yeah, it's about entertaining as for a PSP game. It's as entertaining as you'd expect a handheld Metal Gear game to be. I mean, Peace Walker was fun. Yeah. It's apparently just as good as Peace Walker, but like, you know, different. Oh, well, fuck you then. Rape hand. That was the hand of a man that wants attention. I see you. I'm not letting those fingers get close to me. How did you get through the store? Uh, <laughs> He's in the ceiling. Well. He's right in front of you. Well, no, I just noticed his, like, hand was, like, doing this. Eh. So I was like, what the fuck is he, like, moving his hand for? I love for? him and pet him and call him George. It's that fucking abominable snowman from the Looney Tunes. He's after you. He wishes to uh, pet you. That episode we were trying to think of the red uh, thing, or orange thing. Oh, yeah. Thing's name from Looney Tunes. I actually went in and edited it and uh, put his name. Huh. Don't remember what it is. Yeah, I put his name. 
Do you remember what it is? I think we remembered in the episode. I just put it in there. Uh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Or maybe we didn't. I don't remember. I just remember I edited it in there. Because I looked it whoa. up. I don't remember it. At all. Never will. It starts with an H, if I remember. I think it's like Humbre or something. Something weird. Mm hmm. He is a fun character, though. And those fingernails of his. You don't see me. You that, see me. That reminds me of the final boss from Devil May Cry 2. It's just an amalgam of creatures. Kind of sucks, because that whole game is kind of awful. But it's fun, but awful. It's a bad game that I just happen to enjoy. Poor game. Hey, I kind of need to get out there. Hi. Would you like to make a donation? I'm selling Girl Scout. Ow! Fuck. Fuck. You're fine. Okay, yeah. You're actually fine. Yeah, no, that's... Bullshit. A, yeah, that's supposed to happen. That is bullshit. That thing smashed your head into the ground well, like I mean, how, five times and you die. How else are you supposed to get out? By giving up and then you run. That's how it works. It's like, eh, I don't want to be in there. That is a fucking observer. <laughs> no, thank you. Don't forget, I have flashlight eyes. I don't care. Imagine if Snake had to deal with something like this. I mean, he'd probably manage. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And yeah, I'm gonna run. It's found a new love in that car. <laughs> it broke its car. I will forever love that car. I don't think that's gonna do shit. No, oh, well, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't know where you are. How the fuck did it not see you bail out like that? Uh, I remember explosives and like fire and the eye is like the main thing I need to focus on here. Oh, I didn't know this was an actual boss fight. I thought this yeah, was just hey. like an escape. No, this is a fight. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. My gear. Yeah, I remember he's looking at fire and like explosives and shooting the eye. He's a Dark Souls boss. Weak points of fire. Why have you not noticed everything's weak to fire in this? True enough. Well, that is one thing I always liked about the Soul series. They actually kept like the theme of what would be weak to fire pretty consistent. It was like anything that was dead or of con like normal flesh, fire was like great against. You know, like zombies, any of that move. kind of thing. I can't get out. I can't get out. This is scripted? Out. I can't get out. We can hope this is scripted. You're dead. I'm dead. You are Karmush. I can't get out. I'm pretty sure because his foot was in the way. Yep. Oh, I'll kill this bastard next time. That's a bad place to be. I'll have to remember that one. Not a bad place to be.